Welcome back to Misty and Ike's Factual Morning Show. <laughs> it is a factual morning show most of the time. That is a fact. That is a fact. You know what else is a fact? Tell me. We're going to talk about the Eiffel Tower today. Le Tower Eiffel? Yes. All right. You know why? I thought it was because this was the day it <laughs> opened, but that was not factual. It was opened on March 31st. But <laughs> it some, was. Some other website lied to us and said it opened on this day. Yep. So you know what you're getting today, folks? <laughs> We're going to talk about the Eiffel Tower anyways. And now we snap. <laughs> Are we ready to begin? Good morning! My name is Misty. Come on, Ike, it's time. We would be honored if you would join us. The greatest adventure of all time. Yeah. We just become best friends. Yep. Come on, let's get in the character. What are you waiting for, huh? Oh, come on! And we're back. And we're back. We should put the theme song today in French. <laughs> that would be so much work for one episode. <laughs> Getting the yeah. theme song translated yeah. into French. It would be a lot. Uh, we, we. Oh, we, we. Um, have we, you we. ever been to the Eiffel Tower? I have. I've never even been to Paris. I, it's really funny. I tell a lot of people, um, you know, I travel for work mm -hmm. and I'm often. I oh, really? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you what every concrete backstage of every arena across the world looks like. Mm hmm. I went to France, I went to Paris nine times before I actually got to go and see the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel la Tour. La Tour Eiffel. Here's an interesting fact that most people don't know about the Eiffel Tower. Once France gave us the Statue of Liberty, yeah. we just shipped them a bunch of scrap metal <laughs> and we were like, here, ha have also have a tower of your own. And they just built it as like an erector set. And None of that's true. <laughs> not exactly how it happened. Oh, I really don't know um, the real story. I was just making that up. Well, I believe that the Statue of Liberty was actually designed by the same guy that built the Eiffel Tower, if I'm not mistaken. I think. But let's find out. Um, the okay. tower was built by Gustav Eiffel, his civil engineering firm. Uh, it took two years and five days to build. It was built as the centerpiece for the 1889 World's Fair in Paris. Okay. So it was meant to commemorate the centennial of the French Revolution. Um, There's a solid chance it's the same dude because I, I the Statue of Liberty came out in 1886. Right. I feel like... There's a, yeah. It's possible. Yeah. Guess how much it weighs. And how did they find a scale for it? That's such a big thing. Don't they that, just add up how much the materials weigh? I don't know, man. I, I know think they put it on a scale. So I would say 8,000 tons. Very close. You and math are going pretty strong today. 10,100 tones. <laughs> tones. It's, it's Which spelled, is tons. It, yeah, T-O-N-N-E-S. Yes. Tones. Okay. Do you know how tall it is? I don't. It's 324 meters. Guess what? We're from America. We don't, we don't know, know how tall meters. that is. <laughs> we have no idea. That could be like this tall. Oh, we don't we have a little minute? Nope, that's the Seattle Space Needle. It anyway, is the Seattle Space Needle. Yep. Um, it was the tallest structure in France until the construction of a military transmitter in the town of Susac oh. in 1973. Susac. The Malau Vuduct, completed in 2004, <laughs> is also taller at 443 meters. Can we get an English version of this, please? <laughs> this I'm whole episode is going to be me laughing. <laughs> meters to feet. 300 million people Good. have visited. Wow. It still welcomes almost 7 million visitors a year. Okay, check this out. One meter yes. is 3.28084 feet. Guess oh, no, 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 no. Guess what? Hmm. A yard is three feet. Yep. So it's a third of a... F a <laughs> My head is it's, exploding. It's a little more than a yard. Okay. It's a little more than a yard. <laughs> it's a wee bit more it's, than a yard. Yeah. Did you know that there's an apartment at the top of it? I did not. This is super cool. Can so I live there? When Gustav designed his namesake tower... He cleverly put a private apartment for himself where he hosted famous guests. You know, people like Thomas Edison. 
However, now, I mean, clearly Gustav is not with us anymore. Yeah, who um, lives there now? The apartment is now open to the public and you can take tours of it. So all the way up in the top, there's a secret apartment. Hmm. About some secret stuff went on down there. I bet there. you. I bet you some hanky panky has happened I in that place. So, did you know that he didn't actually design it? Uh, well, then no, I did not, because earlier it said he was the designer. <laughs> well, his engineering firm. So, he earned the naming rights. It was actually designed by two men who work for his company, Maurice Coquelin and Emil Nugier. Easy for you to say. Nugier. I'm so dumb. No, no, Look at this picture. Hmm. See that picture right there? Yeah, it looks it's, like the tower I fell fell down. Yeah, it looks like it's all leaning. I was like, man. And I was leaning like, Tower of Pisa. What is this a picture of? It's one of the feet. It's one of the what? It's one of the feet. You know, the four feet come down uh -huh. at an angle. But I, Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I was like, man, they, this is how it's going up. It probably wasn't built that well. <laughs> but that's how it started. Oh, my goodness. You know you can climb all the way to the top? Yeah, it, but most people don't do that. But like, the, it's a lot. Guess how many steps? Like 3,000? Oh, not even close. 1,665 <laughs> steps. Still a lot. Like, you, t most people, you take the elevator up. There's an elevator in the middle of Oh, here's it. a better picture of the... Uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. You know they were supposed to tear it down after 20 years? Ooh, I'm definitely not ever going on it. So they built it for the World's Fair. And the plan was to tear it down. Did you know that uh, Victor Lustig is a con artist and sold the tower for scrap metal on two separate occasions? I have heard this story I've heard before. that a little bit before, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, Whoa. Here's something that's not great. Oh. When Germany occupied France during the Second World War, Hitler ordered that the Eiffel Tower be torn down. But the order was never followed through. French resistant fi resistance fighters got their revenge. They cut the tower's elevator cables so the Nazis were forced to climb the stairs to hoist their flag at the top. Oh. They had to climb them 1,600 stairs to go put up their stupid flag. Yeah, why would you want to tear it down when you could just put your German flag on top of it now? Well, that's what they were doing, but then they were going to tear it down after that. It was, mm. it was, a, you know, it was a sign of like progressiveness and like you know modernness and modern marvels and they didn't want anyone to be able to ha like lay claim to that other than them yeah here's another reason why i'm never going to get on the eiffel tower why two, two reasons one during cold weather the tower shrinks by six it inches does. <laughs> That's shrinkage weird. is real shrinkage is definitely and then real gustav eiffel the engineer and architect behind the tower that you were just talking about yeah was also involved in a disastrous attempt by the French to build a canal in Panama, and his reputation was badly damaged by the failure of that venture. He can't even dig a hole. I'm not standing on something that he built over 100 years ago. I did it. Yeah. I rode up in the lift. Well, when I, I figure 300 million people can't be wrong. 300 million people have been in or around it. That no, 300, been... people, 300 million people have gone up to the top well, of it. Well, then I'm definitely not riding That's that elevator. Stuff. That elevator is old as shit. Oh, my God. They... Mm -mm. They have done renovations. Okay. Um, but yeah, I did find the answer. The Eiffel Tower is a cousin of sorts to the Statue of Liberty. So before the Eiffel Tower was built, Eiffel's firm was asked to design the internal frame of the Statue of Liberty, a task assigned to his trust that he assigned to his trusted employee, Maurice Coquelin. So they proved their iron handiwork with Lady Liberty first. And okay. <laughs> there's a post office inside of it. There's so a post on the first floor of the tower, next to all the gift shops, there's a post office. And you can send mail, and it will be marked the Eiffel Tower Post Office. It's now, real cool. Here's an Eiffel Tower that I have been to. Uh, I don't know you can tell that story on here. What? Oh, you mean in Vegas, Oh, uh, now she's trying to be funny. <laughs> yeah, so there's one in Vegas, right? Yeah. Guess what scale... The one in Vegas is to the real one. Um, it'd be one tenth. No. no, it's not very tall. It's pre it's pretty tall. Really? Yeah. Okay, maybe half of it. It's exactly half. Okay. Yeah. It's exactly that makes half sense. the size. Here's some pictures of the one in Vegas. Oh, here's a. Bu, bu, bu. Like, I have never like looked at it being that tall. I guess because I'm yeah. always like walking up to. 
the casino that it's in. So I've just never, well, there's a, never there, struck me as that tall. There's a restaurant in the middle of it. Yeah. Right. Where the, all four of the yeah. uh, legs meet and then their pools right below it. So right. yeah, um, it's 540 feet. Huh. And the real one is 984 feet. Yep. How about that? Meters. All right. Meters. Yeah, I was recently in just near this Eiffel Tower very a lot lately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Might even be there right now. I don't know. Um, there's some more stuff inside the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> or there has been. How much stuff can they fit in there? It's a like, lot. It looks like an outer, just a shell of stuff. Not. Is it... When you, when you ride the elevator, it's like it goes up. Like, I mean, there's... First of all, it's huge. Like, it's a lot bigger than what you think it is. It definitely outdoes the whole Statue of Liberty thing. Like, when I saw the Statue of Liberty, I was like, why is it so little? Like, that's not the impression oh, I yeah. always had. How the tall statue, is the Statue The Eiffel Tower, on the other hand, uh, when I walked up to that, I was like, this thing is enormous in comparison to what I thought in my head. It's a lot bigger than what you oh, really yeah. think. Oh, yeah. The Statue of Liberty is one third the it's, size. That's why they so put it little. on that big pedestal. Yeah, it's so little. It's 597 feet from the ground, but it's only 305 mm -hmm. feet tall. So the Eiffel Tower is three times yeah. bigger. Yeah, yeah. Um, so inside the Eiffel Tower mm -hmm. on the third floor, there was also a meteorology lab where they studied physics, aerodynamics, and built a wind tunnel. What? I don't... They, where? I, it's... There's stuff in it. That's the thing. Like there are, it's not just rods that are held together. Like it sure it's a building. Like it. I'm going to look for a picture of said stuff inside. Okay. Um, he opened the doors of the laboratory to other scientists for use for experiments and cosmic rays were discovered there. That's the scientist actually discovered cosmic rays in the laboratory there. Oh, Okay. Yeah, see, like, I mean, it's it's a building at the bottom. There's stuff in it. At the bottom, at the where the four legs meet. Well, of course. So that was throwing me off about the um, first floor, second floor, third floor thing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now I'm going to look for a picture of the apartment at the top. Um, it moves in the wind if the weather's bad enough. Yeah, that's all a oh, big boom. Burr, 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 burr. Easy for me to say. Big buildings do that. I hate that. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't mm. like it at all. Um, so I think that we've talked before about when I went to the Harry Potter land and they have the room full of wands and it has the names of all of the actors in every movie. Yep. The Eiffel Tower has something very similar to that. Oh, no way. The Eiffel Tower is covered in names of scientists, um, French scientists wow. and engineers in the oh, 19th century. Uh, they wanted to make sure that they didn't forget them. So not only did they lend their names to some of the streets in Paris, 72 of their names are engraved in the Eiffel Tower. Wow. The engraved tributes were covered up, but thanks to a restoration effort, they're once again visible. And you can see the names of such scientists as Dumas and Perrier, cut into the iron. That's I think that's nuts. real cool. So there's a couple different apartments in there. Mm -mm. So if you look at this picture, like this one on the left, yeah, that's obviously where the legs are coming up. Yep. And then this one looks like it's at the top. But I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know. And then here's a breakdown of the other top one. They had cattle up there? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Other dogs. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. There's also a military bunker underneath it. Like in, like in the cement underneath it? Underneath the tower's south pillar. So it's a snug bit of history. A secret military bunker that may connect to the nearby Ecole Militaire via a long tunnel. The bunker has been turned into a small museum and tour groups can explore it. I want to look at the... Um, elevator because there's no like straight up and down elevator it's got to go up one of the legs right I'll let you find some photos i mean you've been on it you I can have. shed a little light no it's, i think the pictures will be cooler that's weird because i'm imagining people taking pictures on on the way up of it do all four legs have a lift i don't think so so here's Here's a picture. It's it does go yeah. up. It does go up the leg. It doesn't yeah, go straight up. Yeah, but I'm down. not sure if it's on all sides. But do you have to get off at the middle part, or does the? You don't have to. 
It does go all the way to the top. Yeah. Goes right up the leg, all the way up to the top. I don't think it goes to the actual top. I think it goes slightly underneath the the top. Yeah. Like. But it curves the whole way, huh? Yeah, because it's. I mean, the the elevator. It, the elevators remind me of like modern day Ferris wheels. You know where they're big and you fit like 20 or 30 people inside of it oh, for a trip up. It's not like, like a two gondola. people fit in it or yeah. something. Yeah, it's big. Okay. Yeah. Because it's probably pretty slow. Yeah. Let's see if real quick we can find a time lapse. Ooh, that, yeah. That's what I was hoping you could see, you know, find some photo that kind of Gave the impression of that. There is a champagne bar at the top, though, by the way. Oh, stop, 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 stop. And stop talking. And all right, here's a time lapse of the FL Le Taylor. <laughs> this is um, <coughs> just us. If you're just listening as we're playing a time lapse. In a video, so you should go to YouTube or Facebook or Instagram and watch this. And now I feel like I've ridden the the elevator. That would be a serious workout to do those stairs. Oh yeah, I mean they're small groups of stairs, so you know, Still. not like you're going straight up with no stops or breaks or anything. Oh, this isn't. This is not a time lapse. It is a. It is a real time. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's enough of that. Yep. It's three I'm, I'm video. still now. I'm really intrigued if there's one of those on each side of it. Because I mean, what we did was we of course walked up to it and walked to where the big crowd was. Mm. <laughs> we were like, okay, we'll walk over to this big crowd, which just took us. You know, we paid and took us to the lift and whatever. Mm -hmm. But now I want to know if like. Everybody went to where the big crowd was, so nobody was riding them on the other legs of it because of that. Because, you know, every, people are sheep, and you follow a big crowd. So, it's weird. Well, it's got two yeah. elevators. Okay. So, is there one? there's probably one on each on opposite ends. The Eiffel Tower has 108 stories with uh, 1,710 steps. However, visitors can only climb stairs to the first platform. There are two elevators. Okay. Fair. But it looks Fair like enough. they're both on the same leg. <clears throat> according to this picture. Okay. Because that would make sense because the cables are on the same. And that oh, one yeah. track. They'd go cable, up and. Yeah. 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 Right. Might, much like when you go into a hotel and all the elevators right. are on the same. Yeah. A bank of elevators. Probably. Right. So following the crowd was really the right move. Yeah. Yeah. You did it right. You I did it right. Sheep. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. You, you French <laughs> sheep. Le sheep. Le sheep. Le sheep. Uh, I'm glad that we didn't attempt to speak any French in that. No, that would be cultural appropriation. Woo! Uh, well, folks, that is all we can figure out about the Eiffel Tower. In, in 15 minutes or less. Or, or more. <laughs> or 17 minutes and 51 seconds. Um, all right. Tomorrow's my birthday, everybody. Tomorrow's Isaac's birthday. And it's also a weird Wednesday. Weird Wednesday. What are we weirding out about tomorrow? Havana syndrome. Oh, yeah. That's an interesting Havana one. Havana ooh la la. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> See you tomorrow, everybody. All right, bye.